Moments ago, I had escaped fate. Now I was a fugitive. I stood at the door to my grandmother's house and business, the magic shop on Carnaby Street. All three of them, Helen, Pepper, and Evie, were staring at me as if a ghost had just washed up on their shores. A ghost. Her pet. And the man she'd clearly dragged through the bog she had just crawled out of. For a long, breathless moment I was certain they were going to reject me, certain they had forgotten me. But then Grandmother Helen pulled me in and embraced me. Child, she had asked, heightened concern in her voice. What in the world are you doing here? I hadn't replied. Instead, I held on to her and cried. I cried from the pain of losing my home, my family, and my life. I cried because it was my fault I had lost it all. But I also cried out of relief. Whatever spell had been cast upon me, whatever curse I had been befouled with in Arcadia, it hadn't had an effect on my grandmother's. So really, I cried for hope. You haven't forgotten me, I said into her chest. Forgotten you? Why would we have forgotten you? I thought you would have. Everybody else has. I don't understand, said Helen, embracing me more tightly. The last time we saw you, you were a beautiful little girl of barely ten. For us, that was only a few months ago. And now here you are, a grown woman and yet still our little girl. Perhaps it took me a moment to recognize you, but forget you? Never. Never.